Well, hi, this is Ken Freeman, and here's what we have for you today in today's Monday Minute. I'm talking to you about a new tactic that the abortion people are trying to take with the decision here in Texas that the women are supposed to have uh, a sonogram and some uh, options counseling before they have their abortion. Well, in today's report, I want to tell you about this new plot that involves the judicial bypass. And uh, you see, as this bypass has come up and the law has occurred, now the pro aborts have created a brand new website. They have a new outreach where they're trying to hook the young teens uh, so that they will come to them and go to their abortion centers uh, for uh, the judicial bypass preparation. And uh, you need to know all about it. So in today's program, that's what we want to look at. And why should it involve you and why should your center be involved? Because you need to be proactive. You need to be reaching these teen moms right where they are, letting them know that you're not gonna charge them for the sonogram. And I'll tell you more about that in today's program. Let's get started. What is a judicial bypass? It is an order from a judge that allows a minor to have an abortion without the consent of the parent. Now. To get one, uh, you first have to show that you are mature and sufficiently well informed about your pregnancy options to make a decision without the parent or legal guardian. Or you have to be able to show that it is not in your best interest for your parent or legal guardian to be notified. And see that the notification of a parent or legal guardian could lead to physical, sexual, or, quote, emotional abuse. And so when you think of this, it only needs to have one of those conditions for the judge to agree that you meet the grounds for a bypass waiver to be granted. So therefore, when you think about it, the judicial bypass hearing is completely confidential. They say that Child Protective Services cannot be contacted because of something said in the hearing. So it's up to the little girl to basically say, oh, wait, they're going to emotionally hurt me. Oh, my mom and dad, they're going to do this to me. Or I can't tell my parents or they'll kill me. And he can say, okay, go get that abortion. So now what does this mean to your center? And to this young teen in, in Texas at least. In order to get a judicial bypass under Texas law, she must complete the following. She must have a sonogram. She must receive counseling about her different options. Just note that abortion centers are offering these same services, but they are going to charge for that sonogram and they're gonna charge for the abortion. And remember that their pregnancy option counseling gives her no hope that your center can give her. They are there to sell abortion. So what should you do? You should reach her first. And how do you do that? You need to be proactive. You need to address judicial bypass on your website and draw them into your center first.